everybody. I'm Karen. I work in Connections here at Gold Creek. I'm Joy. I'm uh, one of the directors at Kids of the Creek Preschool right here at Gold Creek. Thank you for joining us for June 17th, day 168. Uh, for me, it's a special day. My nephew is turning 12 today, so I want to wish my nephew, Archer Beam Rider, a very happy 12th birthday today. And it's my parents' anniversary, so happy anniversary to my parents. Yes, June 17th, a special day. And also, um, as we are approaching the end of the school year, um, I just want to say for a minute, um, I met Joy many years ago um, when my son was four. He's a junior in high school now. And Joy absolutely exudes her name and has brought joy to so many people's lives through the preschool. And she um, just, especially through this unusual and unique year, just has really brought extra joy and commitment to the community. So thank you, Joy, for the school year and what you bring to families. Thank yeah, you. We're grateful thank for you. you. So um, we had first Kings 18 verses one to 46. And um one of the things that first um, struck me as I was I was looking at a study Bible was um, Obadiah and hiding the prophets and yeah. about hiding 100 prophets in a cave. And one of the interesting questions or one of the things that I had read that was brought out is how he was brave with the hiding of the people, you know, the, the, the prophets in the caves. But he was not as brave with sharing Elijah's message. And I thought that was really interesting to think about the idea of being brave in your actions, but not maybe feeling as brave in your words. Right, right. Mm -hmm. There was a lot at stake to hide that many prophets. Um, he could have been killed for that, and he was mm -hmm. afraid of being killed for just uh, sharing a message. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, it was interesting how, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, he, he was bold sometime at one point and then not so bold in another. And mm -hmm. it made me think, too, that as Christians, sometimes we're... Um, we're brave, um, and other times we're timid, and especially mm -hmm. like it's easy for us to um, to talk about Jesus um, in a group of Christians. Mm -hmm. But if we're with non-believers, sometimes we're not as brave, mm -hmm. right? I yeah. mean, I'm convicting myself of that. That's um, absolutely true. That is true. And I I just had gone for a walk over the weekend, and the word courage came to me, and I was kind of said in a prayer time, God, I guess I need some courage, and it's it's an interesting to think thing to think about courage and bravery and and what are you more brave in? And again, actions versus words. And right. I appreciate what you're saying there as far as being brave in our words and have, having courage and standing in who we are. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Sure. Um, and then also, then we move on to the, the interesting part of the story, <laughs> I guess, as far as um, um, the Bail. people that were gathered, <laughs> yes, and, and, and worshiping in that way. And I, I love the words here. Uh, the people that were hobbling between two opinions and they were, they were wavering and things like that. And um, so, and when it came down to choosing or, you know, who they're going to worship and then the, let's see, there was, it was like kind of an all day, all, like an all night like thing. There was loud yeah. chanting, dancing, all day prayers. It went on till the evening sacrifices and just, it seems like a really boisterous time. It does. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, Elijah was, sitting there watching. It must have been quite the show mm -hmm. to watch these people yeah. doing all these things and dancing and cutting themselves. Yeah. And um, yeah, it must have been better than a movie. Yes. <laughs> and, and 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 the uh, one of the commentary things that I read on that was just sort of the extent of what that was. And I don't know, I guess dr the drama and the and what that involved and the length of time that they spent doing it. And then that which was contrasted then with Elijah's rather short prayer. And it says, um, I, I love this. It says, um, Elijah, the prophet walked up to the altar and prayed. And, and it was a rather short prayer. Oh God, um, uh, prove today that you are God in Israel and that I am your servant. So just that all this stuff that you're sort of doing and the performance or, or chanting or making noise and then, but how we can access God so simply through a simple prayer. Really. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God just says, ask me once. And mm -hmm. And he'll answer us. Mm -hmm. um, but they kept going through all those motions and all those all those things. It going back just a step. It um, I thought it was kind of funny how Elijah um, was kind of taunting them too. Oh, and yeah. when he was saying, you know, where's your God? Is he relieving himself? Yeah, Is yes. he daydreaming? What's he doing? It he, he got ooh, yeah a little feisty there. Yeah, uh, yeah, a little bit. Hey, so so what's up with this kind of a thing? <laughs> yeah. So, but I'm sure thankful that it doesn't involve. The dancing, you know, just all that elaborate stuff. And I just thankful, thankful sometimes, you know, it's just, it can be the simplest prayer even, you know, 
in, in a moment or help, you know, help me Jesus or, um, you know, God, can I, I need your presence to hear type thing. And I just, I'm thankful for that because sometimes our words are, they don't come easy and we can still reach out in that way. Right. We don't need mm-hmm. rituals. We just need, mm-hmm. we've got a direct line to God. Mm-hmm. And, um, yep. Grateful for that. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Glad we don't have to dance around all day. Totally. I don't have all cut this. <laughs> I, I, and My dance moves are definitely not up to par. So. <laughs> um, and then for the New Testament, we move on to Acts 11. And um, uh, let's see, Peter was, he's talking about, um, I, well, p- partly about the Holy Spirit. And I just love that. I love, I love anytime the Holy Spirit is mentioned and just that um, that that reflection on that and what that means as far as the Holy Spirit being inside of us yeah. and um, what what I what I thought was pretty cool as far as how the one year Bible the the hard copy is laid out is um, in in this section it says um, Peter saying uh, since God gave these Gentiles the same gift He gave us when we believed in the Lord Jesus Christ who was I to stand in God's way and you know again speaking in the Holy Spirit. And then if you kind of go right across the page here um, into Psalm 135, verse 6, it says the Lord does whatever he pleases. Um, and then, But the psalm starts out, praise the name of the Lord. And then if you flip back to that section, who was I to stand in God's way? When the others heard that, they stopped objecting and began praising. So I just thought this kind of like, I don't know, like an interesting sort of a juxtaposition, I guess, mm-hmm. like as far as who am I to stand in God's way? And then the people began praising. And then God does whatever, he, the Lord does whatever he pleases, but, and it's starting with praise. So right. I just thought it was so cool as far as, you know, speaking about um, God, the Lord does what he pleases, what pleases him. He's all powerful. He knows no limits. This is another commentary I saw. Whatever he wants will happen. And you had a great exactly. sort of analogy about yeah. that. Yeah. Well, um, years ago, I had heard a song called Tug of War, and it was about... Um, uh, the singer was talking about how he knows God has good plans for him and he wants to do God's will. But sometimes we um, selfishly want something that may not be God's will. And so um, he uh, made a parallel of being in a tug of war with mm-hmm. God. And so if you think about it, do you really want to win? Do you yeah. really want to pull God over that mm-hmm. center line? Do you really want that mm-hmm. in the end? And, mm-hmm. um, I, you know, it makes me think sometimes when I'm selfishly wanting something that may mm-hmm. not be God's will you know, here's a tug of war. And do I really want to win the war? Mm-hmm. Probably not. Mm-hmm. Um, don't always uh, get it right. But um, mm-hmm. anyhow. And that's, that's a great visual thought. too, because, you know, going back to like the a game at, at recess or field day or whatever, and just that tug of war. And boy, if you're holding on tight, you know, and yes. then you also know what it feels like to give way um, in that in that thing. So that's a great yeah. visual. And I just, again, I love that this is kind of like, who are we to stand in God's way? Right. It's kind of that, that idea of tug of war and the Lord does whatever he, whatever pleases him. So it's like, ultimately, if we can sort of release that, release that, not stand in his way, then we can, and surrender to what is pleasing to him. So it's, it's, it's interesting how those things kind of tie together. Yeah, Probably not even try to pull. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's hard to not do that. Yeah. Yeah, It's hard. (laughs) That is for sure. Um, did before yeah. we get to the proverbs, uh, did you have anything else that stood out to you? Or? Just, um, I just loved hearing about Barnabas, how mm. um, Barnabas was sent out to go teach and mm-hmm. um, and had quite an impact on mm-hmm. a lot of people. And mm-hmm. um, it made me remember that uh, one of the churches I went to when I was a kid was uh, Saint Barnabas, mm. and so uh, it made me think about uh, the people who established that church. Um, took that into mind and they must have really wanted to be great mm-hmm. teachers and to impact a lot of people in the community. So yeah. um, that's cool to yeah. make the name, that name a part of yeah, the work. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. cool. That's cool. And then, yeah, the last thing that we kind of had a little chuckle about was the um, Elijah and the chariot uh, gave the Lord gave special strength to Elijah. He tucked his cloak into his belt and ran ahead of Ahab's chariot all the way to the entrance. Can you imagine so, how fast he was running? <laughs> it's kind of like like maybe Sign early <laughs> early superhero status yes. or something. And it just like I love the movie Chariots of Fire. So that visual of just going that fast is yeah. is cool. So I wonder what the horses thought. <laughs> yeah. So then finally, we'll uh, we had Proverbs seventeen, twelve, and thirteen. Um, which starts off, it is safer to meet a bear robbed of her cubs than to confront a fool caught in foolishness. And I love this. A couple things I thought of when I saw this was, of course, Pastor Dan's um, 
Watch Out for Bear's book. It's the first right. book that he wrote in all of his bear stories. And there's a lot of them. <laughs> yes, there's a lot of them. And boy, that it's that that mama bear and her cubs type thing. And what's yeah. funny is I when my oldest son, who I spoke of earlier, wrapped in was in um, middle school. I feel like that was my real first mama bear um, time. And I even had a <laughs> necklace made mama bear because you just know that protective feeling. <laughs> exactly. And, and so I just, uh, but it's safer to meet a bear robbed of her cubs than to confront a fool caught in foolishness. So, yeah, that's, wow, that's, that's powerful. Yes, it is. Yeah. That's, that, that's kind of saying something. Yeah, for so, sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Proverbs are like that though. They, they, just give clear directions on how we need to live, right? Yes, and they how- do. And they are, it's always, yeah, always neat little nuggets that yeah. you can kind of take with you, you know, and just, and how putting it in an interesting perspective and mm-hmm. in, in creating a visual that, um, that, that you can relate to. Exactly. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, I guess, I guess, thank you for joining us for June 17th, day 168. And I guess I would just say, as we go into this day, you know, um, the, the idea of, of praising the name of the Lord, you, you know, in regards to um, not st- not standing in His way, um, a turning over things to Him, so He can, so we sort of allow Him to do as He pleases, and with a grateful heart, and just praising His name. That's just that's what what if we can start there, that's, exactly. We can hopefully um, just give it to Him, exactly. So, yeah, yeah. And hey, you know, if you're behind in your reading at all, just just start today mm-hmm. and um, don't worry about anything in the past. Just, just keep mm-hmm. going. Just keep on yep. doing it. Stick with it. Stay mm-hmm. in it. There's usually, there's something that will apply each day. Every so day. yeah, stay with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So thank you for joining us. Thanks.